Chapter 16 And at the death of the giants, spirits will go out and shall destroy without incurring judgment. Coming from their bodies, their flesh shall be destroyed until the day of the consummation. The great judgment in which the age shall be consummated over the watchers and the godless and shall be wholly consummated. Matthew 8.28 And when he has come to the other side into the country of the Jerjesenes, there met him two possessed devils, coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? And now, as to the watchers who have sent you to intercede for them, who had been in heaven before, say to them, You were in heaven, but all the mysteries of heaven had not been revealed to you, and you knew worthless ones, and these in the hardness of your hearts you have made known to the women, and through these mysteries women and men work much evil on earth. Say to them, therefore, you have no peace. Genesis 6 And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his day shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the Son of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Chapter 17 And they took me to a place in which those who were there were like flaming fire, and when they wished, they made themselves appear as men. They brought me to the place of darkness, and to a mountain the point of whose summit reached to heaven. And I saw the lighted places in the treasuries of the stars, and of the thunder, and in the uttermost depths, where were a fiery bow and arrows in their quiver. And they took me to the waters of life, and to the fire of the west, which receives every setting of the sun. And I came to a river of fire, in which the fire flows like water into the great sea towards the west. I saw the great rivers, and came to the great darkness, and went to the place where no flesh walks. I saw the mountains of the darkness of winter, and the place from where all the waters of the deep flow. I saw the mouths of all the rivers of the earth and the mouth of the deep. Chapter 18 I saw the storehouse of all the winds. I saw how he had adorned the whole creation with them and the firm foundations of the earth. And I saw the cornerstone of the earth. I saw the four winds which support the earth and the firmament of the heaven. I saw how the winds stretch out the height of heaven, and have their station between heaven and earth. These are the pillars of heaven. I saw the winds of heaven, which turn and bring the sky and the sun, and all the stars to their setting place. I saw the winds on the earth carrying the clouds. I saw the paths of the angels. I saw at the end of the earth the firmament of heaven above. And I continued south, and saw a place which burns day and night, where there are seven mountains of magnificent stones, three towards the east, 
and three towards the south. And as for those towards the east, they were of colored stone, and one of pearl, and one of jacinth, a stone of healing, and those towards the south, of red stone. But the middle one reached to heaven like the throne of God, and was made of alabaster, and the summit of the throne was of sapphire. Ezekiel 122 and the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible crystal, stretching forth over their heads above, and under the firmament were their wings straight, the one toward the other. Every one had two, which covered on this side, and every one had two, which covered on that side, their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of an host. When they stood, they let down their wings. And there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads, when they stood and it let down their wings. And above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne, as the appearance of a sapphire stone, and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire round about within it, from the appearance of his loins ever upward, and from the appearance of his loins ever downward. I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about, as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain so was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. And I saw a great abyss of the earth, with pillars of heavenly fire. And I saw among them fiery pillars of heaven, which were falling. And as regards both height and depth, they were immeasurable. And beyond that abyss, I saw a place which had no firmament of heaven above, and no firmly founded earth beneath it. There was no water on it, and no birds. But it was a desert and a horrible place. I saw there seven stars like great burning mountains, and an angel questioned me regarding them. The angel said, This place is the end of heaven and earth. This has become a prison for the stars and the host of heaven. And the stars which roll over the fire are they which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord in the beginning of their rising, because they did not come out at their proper times. And he was angry with them and bound them until the time when their guilt should be consummated, even for ten thousand years. Chapter 19 And Uriel said to me, The angels who have had sex with women shall stand here, and their spirits, having assumed many different forms, are defiling mankind, and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand, until the day of the great judgment, in which they shall be judged, and are made an end of. 1 Timothy 4.1 The Spirit clearly says that in later times some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Revelations 9.20 The rest of mankind that were not killed by these plagues still did not repent of the work of their hands. They did not stop worshipping demons and idols of gold, silver, bronze, stone, and wood, idols that cannot see or hear or walk. Nor did they repent of their murders, their magical arts, their sexual immorality, or their thefts. And the women also of the angels who went astray shall become sirens. Other versions read, shall become peaceful. Also, another version reads, shall salute them. And I, Enoch, alone saw the vision, 
the ends of all things, and no man shall see as I have seen. 1 Peter 4.7 But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. Chapter 20 These are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels who is over the world, turmoil and terror. Raphael, one of the holy angels who is over the spirits of men. Raguel, one of the holy angels who takes vengeance on the world of the luminaries. Michael, one of the holy angels set over the virtues of mankind and over chaos. Sarakael, one of the holy angels who is set over the spirits, who sin in the spirit. Gabriel, one of the holy angels, who is over paradise and the serpents and the cherubim. Remiel, one of the holy angels, whom God set over those who rise. Chapter 21 Then I proceeded to where things were chaotic and void, and I saw there something horrible. I saw neither a heaven above, nor a firmly founded earth, but a place chaotic and horrible. And there I saw seven stars of heaven, bound together in it, like great mountains and burning with fire. Then I said, For what sin are they bound, and on why have they been cast in here? Then said Uriel, one of the holy angels, who was with me and was chief over them, Enoch, why do you ask, and why are you eager for the truth? These are some of the stars of heaven, which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord, and are bound here until ten thousand years, the time entailed by their sins, are consummated. And I went out from there to another place, which was still more horrible than the former, and I saw a terrible thing. A great fire there which burned and blazed, and the place was cleft as far as the abyss, full of great falling columns of fire. Neither its width or breadth could I see, nor could I see its source. Then I said, I am afraid of this place and cannot stand to look at it. Then Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered and said to me, Enoch, why are you so afraid? And I answered, Because of this fearful place, and because of the spectacle of the pain. And he said to me, This place is the prison of the angels, and here they will be imprisoned forever. Daniel 7 9 As I looked, thrones were set in place, and the Ancient of Days took his seat. His clothing was as white as snow, the hair of his head was white like wool, his throne was flaming with fire, and its wheels were all ablaze. A river of fire was flowing, coming out from before him. Thousands upon thousands attended him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. Then I continued to watch because of the boastful words the horn was speaking. I kept looking until the beast was slain and its body destroyed and thrown into the blazing fire. Chapter 22 And I went out to another place west where there was a mountain and hard rock. And there was in it four hollow places deep and wide and very smooth. How smooth are the hollow places and look deep and dark? Then Raphael answered, one of the holy angels who was with me and said to me, These hollow places have been created for this very purpose, that the spirits of the souls of the dead should be gathered here, that all the souls of the children of men should be brought together here, and these places have been made to receive them, until the day of their judgment, and until the period appointed, until the great judgment comes on them. Author's Note 
The idea of a gathering place of the dead is seen in the doctrine of purgatory, where the dead are gathered and those who are redeemable are kept and purified until such time they might ascend to heaven. 2 Maccabee 1241 All men therefore praising the Lord, the righteous judge, who had opened the things that were hid, betook themselves unto prayer, and besought him that the sin committed might wholly be put out of remembrance. Besides, that noble Judas exhorted the people to keep themselves from sin, for so much as they saw before them. eyes the things that came to pass for the sins of those that were slain. And when he had made a gathering throughout the company to the sum of two thousand drachms of silver, he sent it to Jerusalem to offer a sin offering, doing therein very well and honestly, in that he was mindful of the resurrection. For if he had not hoped that they that were slain should have risen again, it had been superfluous and vain to pray for the dead. And also in that he perceived that there was a great favor laid up for those that died godly. It was in holy and good thought, whereupon he made a reconciliation for the dead, that they might be delivered from sin. I saw the spirit of a dead man, and his voice went out to heaven and made petitions. And I asked Raphael, the angel who was with me, and I said to him, This spirit which petitions, whose is it? whose voice goes up and petitions heaven. And he answered me, saying, This is the spirit which went out from Abel, whom his brother Cain slew, and he makes his suit against him until his offspring is destroyed from the face of the earth, and his offspring are annihilated from among the children of men. Genesis 4, 8 And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand? When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. Then I asked, regarding all the hollow places, Why is one separated from the other? And he answered me and said to me, These three have been made that the spirits of the dead might be separated. Divisions have been made for the spirits of the righteous in which there is the bright spring of water, and one for sinners when they die and are buried in the earth, and judgment has not been executed on them in their lifetime. Here their spirits shall be set apart in this great pain until the great day of judgment and punishment and torment of those who curse forever and retribution for their spirits. Second Peter 3.7 by the same word the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. There he shall bind them forever. And such a division has been made for the spirits of those who make their petitions, who make disclosures concerning their destruction, when they were slain in the days of the sinners. Such has been made for the spirits of men who were not righteous but sinners who were complete in transgression, and of the transgressors they shall be companions. But their spirits shall not be destroyed in the day of judgment, nor shall they be raised from here. Then I blessed the Lord of glory and said, Blessed be my Lord, the Lord of righteousness, who rules forever. Chapter 23 from here I went to another place to the west of the ends of the earth, and I saw a burning fire which ran without resting, and never stopped from its course day or night, but flowed always in the same way. And I asked, saying, 
What is this which never stops? Then Raguel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered me and said to me, This course of fire which you have seen is the fire in the west, and is the fire of all the lights of heaven. Chapter 24 And from here I went to another place on the earth, and he showed me a mountain range of fire, which burned day and night. And I went beyond it and saw seven magnificent mountains, all differing from each other, and their stones were magnificent and beautiful, and their form was glorious. Three towards the east, one founded on the other, and three towards the south, one on the other, in deep rough ravines, no one of which joined with any other. And the seventh mountain was in the midst of these, and it was higher than them, resembling the seat of a throne. And fragrant trees encircled the throne, and among them was a tree such as I had never smelled, nor was any among them, or were others like it. It had a fragrance beyond all fragrance, and its leaves and blooms and wood would not ever wither, and its fruit is beautiful, and its fruit resembles the dates of a palm. Then I said, How beautiful is this tree, and fragrant, and its leaves are fair, and its blooms very delightful in appearance. Then Michael, one of the holy and honored angels who was with me, and was their leader, spoke. Second Maccabee 1241 All men therefore praising the Lord, the righteous judge, who had opened the things that were hid, but took themselves unto prayer, and besought him that the sin committed might wholly be put out of remembrance, might wholly be put out of remembrance. Besides, that noble Judas exhorted the people to keep themselves from sin, for so much as they saw before their eyes the things that came to pass for the sins of those that were slain. And when he had made a gathering throughout the company to the sun, and when he had made a gathering throughout the company to the sun of two thousand drachms of silver, he sent it to Jerusalem to offer a sin offering, doing therein very well and honestly, in that he was mindful of the resurrection. For if he had not hoped that they that were slain should have risen again, it had been superfluous and vain to pray for the dead. And also in that he perceived that there was great favor laid up for those that died godly. It was in holy and good thought, whereupon he made a reconciliation for the dead, that they might be delivered from sin. Chapter 25 And he said to me, Enoch, why do you ask me about the fragrance of the tree, and why do you wish to learn the truth? Then I answered him, saying, I wish to know about everything, but especially about this tree. And he answered, saying, This high mountain which you have seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, is his throne where the Holy Great One, the Lord of glory, the Eternal King, will sit, when He shall come down to visit the earth with goodness. And as for this fragrant tree, no mortal is permitted to touch it until the great judgment, when He shall take vengeance on all and bring everything to its completion forever. Genesis 2.8 now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. And the Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. From there it was separated into four headwaters. The name of the first is the Pishon. It winds through the entire land of Havilah, where there is gold. 
The gold of that land is good. Aromatic resin and onyx are also there. The name of the second river is the Jihon. It winds through the entire land of Cush. The name of the third river is the Tigris. It runs along the east side of Ashur. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you will surely die. It shall then be given to the righteous and holy. Its fruit shall be food to the elect. It shall be transplanted to the holy place, to the temple of the Lord, the eternal King. Revelations 22, 1 And he shewed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curses, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. Then they shall rejoice and be glad, and enter into the holy place, and its fragrance shall enter into their bones, and they shall live a long life on earth, as your fathers lived. And in their days there will be no sorrow, or pain, or torment, or toil. Then I bless the God of glory, the eternal King, who has prepared such things for the righteous, and has created them, and promised to give to them. Ezekiel 47.12 New International Version Fruit trees of all kinds were grown on both banks of the river. Their leaves will not wither, nor will their fruit fail. Every month they will bear, because the water from the sanctuary flows to them. Their fruit will serve for food, and their leaves for healing. Chapter 26 And I went from there to the middle of the earth, and I saw a blessed place in which there were trees with branches alive and blooming on a tree that had been cut down. Author's Note The hollow earth theory has been espoused by various groups throughout history. The theory was used to create the book and movie, Journey to the Center of the Earth. And there I saw a holy mountain. And underneath the mountain to the east, there was a stream, and it flowed towards the south. And I saw towards the east another mountain higher than this, and between them a deep and narrow valley. In it ran a stream underneath the mountain, and to the west of it there was another mountain, lower than the former and of small elevation, and a dry deep valley between them and another deep and dry valley was at the edge of the three mountains. And all the valleys were deep and narrow, being formed from hard rock, and there were no trees planted on them. And I was very amazed at the rocks in the valleys. Chapter 27 Then I said, What is the purpose of this blessed land? which is entirely filled with trees, and what is the purpose of this accursed valley between them? Then Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered and said, This accursed valley is for those who are cursed forever. Here shall all the accursed be gathered together who utter with their lips words against the Lord, not befitting his glory, or say hard things against him. Here shall they be gathered together, and here shall be their place of judgment. In the last days there shall be the spectacle of righteous judgment on them, in the presence of the righteous forever. Here shall the merciful bless the Lord of glory, the eternal King. In the days of judgment they shall bless him for the mercy and that he has shown them. Then I blessed the Lord of glory, and set out his glory, and praised him gloriously. Chapter 28 
Then I went towards the east, into the midst of the mountain ranges in the desert, and I saw a wilderness, and it was solitary, full of trees and plants, and water gushed out from above. Rushing like a torrent which flowed towards the northwest, it caused clouds and dew to fall on every side. Chapter 29 Then I went to another place in the desert, and approached to the east of this mountain range. And there I saw aromatic trees exuding the fragrance of frankincense and myrrh. And the trees also were similar to the almond tree. Chapter 30 Beyond these I went far to the east, and I saw another place, a valley full of water, like one that would not run dry. And there was a tree, the color of fragrant trees was that of mastic, and on the sides of those valleys I saw fragrant cinnamon, and beyond these I proceeded to the east. Chapter 31 And I saw other mountains, and among them were groves of trees, and there was nectar that flowed from them, which is named Sarara and Galbanum. And beyond these mountains I saw another mountain to the east of the ends of the earth, on which there were aloe trees, and all the trees were full of fruit, being like almond trees. And when it was burned, it smelled sweeter than any fragrant odor. Chapter 32 And after I had smelled these fragrant odors, I looked towards the north, over the mountains. I saw seven mountains full of fine nard and fragrant trees of cinnamon and pepper. And then I went over the summits of all these mountains, far towards the east of the earth, and passed over the Red Sea, and went far from it, and passed over the angel Zotiel. Author's Note The angel Zotiel, whose name means Little One of God, welcomes back those sinners who have gone astray, but have repented. Based on the description of the locations, some have suggested the Sphinx could be a representation although most believe this to be unlikely. And I came to the Garden of Righteousness. I saw far beyond those trees, more trees, and they were numerous and large. There were two trees there, very large, beautiful, glorious, and magnificent. The tree of knowledge, whose holy fruit they ate and acquired great wisdom. That tree is in height like the fir, and its leaves are like those of the carob tree, and its fruit is like the clusters of the grapes, very beautiful, and the fragrance of the tree carries far. Isaiah 60.13 The glory of Lebanon will come to you, the pine, the fir, and the cypress together, to adorn the place of my sanctuary and I will glorify the place of my feet. Then I said, How beautiful is the tree, and how attractive is its look! Then Raphael, the holy angel who was with me, answered me and said, This is the tree of wisdom, of which your father of old and your mother of old, who were your progenitors, have eaten. And they learned wisdom, and their eyes were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they were driven out of the garden. Chapter 33 And from there I went to the ends of the earth, and saw there large beasts, and each differed from the other, and I saw birds also differing in appearance, and beauty, and voice the one differing from the other. And to the east of those beasts, I saw the ends of the earth where heaven rests on it, and the doors of heaven open, and I saw how the stars of heaven come out, and I counted the gates from which they came out, 
and wrote down all their outlets of each individual star by their numbers and their names, their courses and their positions, and their times and their months, as Uriel, the holy angel who was with me, showed me. He showed me all things and wrote them down for me. Also their names he wrote for me, and their laws and their functions. Chapter 34 From there I went towards the north to the ends of the earth, and there I saw a great and glorious device at the ends of the whole earth. And here I saw three gates of heaven open. Through each of them proceed north winds. When they blow, there is cold, hail, frost, snow, dew, and rain. And out of one gate they blow for good. But when they blow through the other two gates, it is for violence and torment on the earth. And they blow with force. Chapter 35 Then I went towards the west, to the ends of the earth, and saw there three gates of heaven open, such as I had seen in the east, the same number of gates, and the same number of outlets. Chapter 36 and from there I went to the south, to the ends of the earth, and saw there three open gates of heaven, and from them come dew, rain, and wind. And from there I went to the east, to the ends of heaven, and saw here the three eastern gates of heaven, open and small gates above them. Through each of these small gates pass the stars of heaven, and they run their course to the west on the path which is shown to them. And as often as I saw, I blessed always the Lord of glory, and I continued to bless the Lord of glory, who has done great and glorious wonders, who has shown the greatness of his work to the angels and to spirits and to men, that they might praise his work and all his creation that they might see the power of his might and praise the great work of his hands and bless him forever. Chapter 37 The Book of Parables, Chapters 37 through 71 The second vision which he saw, the vision of wisdom which Enoch the son of Jared, the son of Mahalalel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, saw. And this is the beginning of the words of wisdom which I lifted up my voice to speak and say to those which dwell on earth, Hear, you men of old time, and see, you that come after, the words of the Holy One, which I will speak before the Lord of Spirits. The words are for the men of old time, and to those that come after, we will not withhold the beginning of wisdom from this present day. Such wisdom has never been given by the Lord of Spirits, as I have received according to my insight, according to the good pleasure of the Lord of Spirits, by whom the lot of eternal life has been given to me. Now three parables were imparted to me, and I lifted up my voice and recounted them to those that dwell on the earth.